see him on Restoration Druida. I feel like Casca would have been a better pick than going on an alt healer overall. Uh, Resto Druid is powerful though into Moonkins. It obviously can't be Root Solar Beam because it can shapeshift out of Roots and avoid that silence. So they're probably going off the back of that. But at the same time, they have a Hunter who can use Freedom to get their healer out of that. So it seems odd. They're actually going to do an all-in strategy on Sidu. Sidu is playing Adaptation, which is really good at, at getting rid of Freezing Traps. Not so good at dealing with stuns and being tunneled down. So this is an Adaptation by Casca's Angels based on that trinket choice. Now here's one of the things about Trill. We've talked about how good he is at PvE. He does monstrous damage on that Demon Hunter. CD is actually going to be playing the Spirit Link talent, so he's going to be so uh, syncing up his entire team's HP here. Going to be tanking throughout the entire game, so Dilipu and Cyfox are going to have to do an excellent job working around that so he manages to top himself off. Dilipu rotting down a little bit. Milkman's been able to stabilize his team for now, but Dilipu needs to make sure he's not running around the pillar too often or he's going to be taking a lot of damage out of line of sight. Casca's Angels, they've got the right whoa, strap up. and gets swapped too. Bursted down. Trinket has been forced. He's still maybe in a bit of trouble as Trill is just gunning him down. How is Milkman going to handle this? This is his first time we've seen him on a resto druid, and Trill is putting him to the test. Huge amounts of damage. What? Milkman just getting shredded. Yeah, in imprisonment going to be used on the Milkman as all three members move on top of him. Does Sidu have to dispel to take him down? Milkman he just gets the bark skin back up. There's a full bash on Milkman. No shrinking available. Can Trill and Sam I am take him down? They get caught to the stun. Huge healing coming in from Cy Foxy to support Milkman and keep him alive. Yeah, he will survive. A very close call, though, to say the least. And I like Casca's Angel strategy. They see Spirit Link and they see Adaptation. So they're never going to trap Sidu. Just keep stunning him, bursting down, and trying to rock the whole team and run Sidu out of mana. That's the win condition for Casca's Angels with the strategy that Method Orange are trying to employ. Method Orange, on the other hand, I think are the ones more on the clock so long as Milkman manages his mana effectively. They kind of have to set up these swaps. Right now, they've got a good opportunity. Nobody has trinkets on Casca's Angels, which means if they get multiple crowd controls, they can't get out of them and they're more likely to be able to kill them inside of it. We see Sidu caught into a stun. This is an opportunity for Casca's Angels to start building up momentum and they are doing their best. Sidu drops Earth and Shield. That's going to deflect the attack. Now, it's up to Method Orange to get aggressive. Yeah, Dilipu's pet's dead. He has to res it, but Trill and Samai have been doing a good job interrupting and finally gets that revived pet off. You can have that available to join him and support his team a little bit more. Samai, I'm taking some pressure here, but you know, Sidu, he has so many defensive cooldowns still left. Syncs up everyone's HP with that Spirit Link. In terms of mana, Sidu's actually ahead. Normally see the Spirit Link Shamans run out of mana relatively fast, but Milkman's been falling so far behind. Sam I Am and Trill able to put out a lot of pressure here. Double Chaos Nova coming in. Cy Foxy getting bursted down a little bit. Iron Bark going to be committed by Milkman. That's enough to keep him alive, but Method Orange slowly whittling through these defensives. And I mean, we pointed it out before the series started. Trill is top of the game in MDI, top of the game in raiding, top of the game in, in arena. He, you can just tell that he's top of the game in damage because Milkman's just getting shredded the whole entire match. And that's going to be the benefit for the team of Method Orange, that Trill is just such an MVP across all aspects of the game. It's really carrying, and that's why they even have a mana lead, is just that huge boost of damage for Trill. Yeah, Trill, he's been using that rain from above. You see him fly up in the sky. He basically becomes a turret, can spam out chaos bolts on everybody. Normally, we don't see Demon Hunters using that for damage, but he's not afraid. He just leaps up in the air, spams those chaos bolts onto everybody, putting up big pressure for his team. You see another stun on Milkman. He trinkets. A bit of a panic trinket. I'm not sure if it was really required there. That wasn't a lot of cooldowns from Trill. I guess Sam I am did activate Incarnation, trying to respect that cooldown at least. Sidu now getting pressured as Dilly and Cy Foxy are trying to lead the charge. Great Cyclone by Milkman at low health on Sam I am trying to get a follow up. Doesn't want to risk getting interrupted though. Sidu moved out the back up that and interrupted. Now Dilly in a bit of trouble dipping low, trades out exhilaration for a big heal. Milkman's mana is the story of this game because we're not even in dampening and it's a resto druid. He's almost doomed. That almost never happens. So Casca's Angels, they need to get something done now. Yeah, every time Trill does damage, he slightly heals himself as well. I think he's actually playing the Demonic build, I believe. So that really helps Sidu, who's spear-linking everyone's HP together. Samayam can heal himself up a little bit. Trill can heal himself up a little bit. Makes it much easier for Sidu to heal with this damage. There's a bash on the Milk Man. He activates the Bark Skin, making him tanky. A lot of pressure on the Samayam in the meantime. So they look to get aggressive on the Milk Man, but he seems to be okay. There's the Diamond Ice Trap on the Samayam. 
Sidhu is doing a great job, though, keeping his team alive. Everyone seems to be just fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm wondering if he's been holding off on using Spirit Link on cooldown and trying to wait till he thinks he's going to get crowd control, then popping it out, because that's the only thing that makes sense for his mana to be able to maintain so well. Trill is constantly jumping up into the air and avoiding the attacks of his opponents and still dishing damage back, trying to maximize both offense and defense in that sense. Activating I beam he gets to go into Metamorphosis. This is a massive boost of damage. Trill can do devastating amounts of pressure with this. Going all out on Cy Foxy right now. He's going to proc that tank, Trinket Absorb. He can just switch targets if he wants to, but he's just gunning him down. Now swapping over to Milkman, catching him in a stun with no bark skin for five seconds. It's a big opening to try and take Milkman down. Three more seconds. Can he make it out alive? He's going to stun Trill. Pause out the damage, looking for a Cyclone. Sidhu trying to deny it. He does manage to do so. Great teamwork from Sidhu, breaking up that crowd control. Yeah, Dilly Poo rotting down. Cyfox as well. Milkman has to play catch up here. Sam I am seems to be taking some damage once again. He's the main focal point for Casca Zane that's trying to take him down. Cyfoxy getting lower and lower though. Still has both takes up survival instincts. Gonna be activating one of those. Gonna be taking half damage while that's up. He has one more tick or one more charge of that to reduce some of this damage. Big swap on a milk band in the meantime. Arcs gonna need to be used. Bash as well. Cyfoxy throwing out the off heels. They need to cross the sea on the Cyfoxy when they can, when they make those swaps on a milkman, just because he provides so much healing and support to milkman in those dire situations. All right, this entangling root on Trill. Cyfoxy is likely running an honor talent that makes it undispellable, that makes all of your attacks miss. So if he can time that during Metamorphosis, as Trill has currently got activated, he can just remove that damage from the game. Cyfoxy's been doing a good job throughout, but I'd like to see it more so when his healer is stunned, because that's more likely to be, like right now, milkman's in a stun, so if they root up Trill, take away that damage, they remove the threat entirely. Right now, Trill isn't getting rooted. Milkman doesn't have much to stay alive. Everybody on Method Orange are gunning him down for the kill. He's going to duck behind the corner, manage to pick himself back up, and now Sidhu has gone into center field. He's exposed everybody out in the open. This is an opportunity for Casca's Angels if there ever was one. Yeah, I like what Trill is doing. He's going after Milkman, getting the cooldowns he needs, and then immediately comes back to support, making sure Sidhu can get that spirit link up, never overstaying his welcome. And I think it's really, really intelligent. Ivy now over on the Milkman side. Foxy in the meantime taking quite a bit of burst damage. So Foxy needs to hold on a little bit longer. He has the incarnation coming up, but I don't think he has enough time. Milkman running out of mana. Method Orange playing that game beautifully, and I really like this composition that they brought. I definitely do as well. You know, before we actually got into the arena, I said that weren't actually switching specs earlier in Legion. Look at the mages that were scared to play Arcane. You definitely need to be playing everything that your class has to offer. But let's see what happens here with the change that Casca's Angels have made. Casca just chilling in the back line, waiting for Method Orange to push up before going out there. Casca playing Dwarf, trying to get full advantage uh, by removing any sort of damage over time effects. We see Casca getting stunned. He is going to be the target for the team of Method Orange. I'm really looking for Mana Rift. Just a purple circle that Trill can put on the ground. It doesn't look like he's playing it, or he would have otherwise used it on that first stun. So Casca doesn't seem like he's going to have to deal with Mana Burn effects. We see him caught into another Cap Totem stun as they switch their attention back to Cyphox. Yeah, and Casca is actually not playing the Spirit Link. He's just going to be playing Spirit Link Totem and Earthen Shield, so it's going to be strong healing for him. But I don't know. I, I feel like they can make big swaps on a Casca. He's going to be vulnerable. Cyfox is going to be vulnerable if they can get the crowd control. Big stun now over on a trail. They're putting out some decent pressure with that. Nicely done, but CD should be able to stabilize. And like I said, with this demonic build, every time Trill gets these attacks off, he's healing himself up, really helping CD top himself off. I mean, everything about Method Orange's composition and strategy is just almost completely untouchable. We see a swap to Casca, he deflects, pops Ascendance. That should allow him to bounce his entire team back. But again, going back to Method Orange, Spirit Link slows down damage. They have the Tank Trinket. If anything does happen to happen, or someone panic gets bursted down, the Tank Trinket will save them. Then they've got the sustained healing from the Demon Hunter and off healing from the Moonkin. Everything about the composition makes them just so durable that Casca's Angels can't win going head to head. They need crowd control, but they've got that even covered because Sidhu is adaptation. So every minute he gets out of a freezing trap for free. Trill has reverse magic. That's every minute. If you use those one after the other, freezing trap doesn't exist. So they've removed crowd control, they've removed burst, and they've removed sustained damage. Method Orange have the perfect composition. Yeah, Trill's actually under a little bit of pressure. I had to trink it out there. Dilly and Cyfoxy managed to find some damage. Earthen Shield Totem is going to be dropped off by Sidhu. Everyone's going to be tanking it out. And with the Spearling Talon and Earthen Shield, basically no one takes damage. The amount of damage you take is 
basically completely nullified with those two abilities. Cyfoxy now under fire. No survival instincts left for him as well, so he is vulnerable. Casca doesn't have a trinket for another couple seconds. He gets done. Trill making a swap over onto him, just trying to rot down all three members of Casca's Angels. But Trill in this game is much more pressured. I think Casca's Angels is doing a better job with their target choice. I mean, it's all kind of an illusion. As soon as he uses that eye beam, he's going to heal himself. There's the eye beam. Now he's got all that leech healing as soon as he gets back onto a target. So he's going to be going back to full health quite rapidly. Casca's doing a good job on his mana, trying to maintain it, but it doesn't look like he's playing Spirit Link either. So he's expected to have the mana advantage. Dilly in the meantime got bursted down. That was his tank trinket proccing. They switched targets. I like the swapping during that absorb. Trying to put Casca on the back foot. Nice double stun. Triple crap control for Method Orange. Really putting it to him. Casca's Angels have a lot of work to try and recover through this burst with two members down to half. Casca gets out. Tosses out a couple of Riptides, bouncing back quite effectively. Now it looks like they are starting to mount some form of offense here with Steedoo rotting down and triggering his tank absorbed Brock. Sam and rotting down as well. Cascade's Angels doing whatever they can. I like this Diamond Ice trap from Dilly. He knows that with Reverse and Adaptation, that Freezing Trap would get removed out of the game, so he's got an Honor Talent that changes Freezing Trap into Diamond Ice Trap, which can't be dispelled, and it's a shorter duration. So I, it was a nice adaptation from Dilly. I just don't know if it's long enough to actually kill anything. And I think it was definitely smart. Like you said, it's basically completely nullified with the adaptation and the reverse magic. So definitely smart. Cy Foxy taking the pressure. Big swap now over on Casca. Still has the trinket and the link, though. So these swaps, although very, very scary, Casca can keep himself alive if he responds accordingly with his defensives. Cy Foxy getting swapped to trink, uh, tank trinket's going to be proc there. Dilly Poo rotting down as well. Casca has a little bit of work to top off his team. You can see incarnation used by Sam I Am. Full root beam on the Sam or on the Casca. Nicely done by Dilly getting him out of that with that Master's Call as Pat coming out and giving him freedom, removing that silence. But he gets wind sheared. Dilly might have to go into the Africa of the Turtle here. He tries to kite away by Casca some time, easily tops him off. I mean, this, this game just looks so one sided. Even though Method Orange's health is going down, it's going down at such a slow rate that they're not really ever in danger. Whereas Cyfoxy, whoa, whoa, whoa. look at him. He's in so much trouble right now. Casca had to trinket. Cyfoxy had to overlap, and these burst moments that Trill just keeps dishing out are eventually going to nail a kill. We're not even into dampening, and Casca's struggling. Yeah, Cyfoxy does have the incarnation, so that is a tool that they have to really get some burst damage going. CD doesn't have the adaptation available just yet, so they could try to take him down, but with that Spearling talent, he's just so tanky, it can be difficult. Trill now getting stunned up. Incarnation is going to be used. Can they take Trill down right now? He drops the darkness. He doesn't want to mess around. As long as he's in that purple cloud you can see on the screen, he's going to be taking reduced damage. He's immune to damage. So that's a very powerful defensive they were able to get out from Trill. I don't even know if he really needed to use it. Uh, I mean, it was much, yeah. much so <laughs> preemptive. I, that actually is an opening. I almost would say that's a mistake. Casca and a root beam. Dilly going to back him up. Master's call. Freedom Casca out of that silence. Good teamwork between Dilly and Casca. But now Trill following up with a, an imprisoned. Casca can't heal inside of this. Cyfoxy dipping low, and he is going to be the kill target, I believe, with Winshire now secured by Sidu on the Casca. Cyfoxy dipping lower and lower. So much trouble. Is he going to deal with this? Trill is just doing so much damage. I mean, how many hours on the the, the world first raid has he logged? Whoa, 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 whoa. And Sam I am suddenly in trouble. Sidu gets the Spirit Link reapplied, and I think it should be enough with the Earthen Shield Totem for his team to start recovering. But with Trill, he's literally had so much practice. It played all avenues of the game that he is at the pinnacle of DPS. I don't think any other Demon Hunter can do as much damage as him. Well, yeah, he figures out what are the best Azerite traits, what are the best talents, and, you know, different things he can utilize with his gear in order to do optimal damage. And that's a big advantage you have playing all aspects of the game, like you see Trill. But finally, Casca's Angel is getting a decent amount of pressure. Sidu's mana being taxed quite a bit now, actually way behind compared to Casca as we do reach 7% dampening in this matchup. Sidu may be looking for a drink here. You can see he has a Spirit Link up. He's out of line of sight. Potentially going for the drink. Tank, uh, the tank drink is going to proc for Trill, so he should be tanky enough to buy Sidu some time, but unfortunately doesn't get to sit down for that drink. Now the Diamond Ice is going to be used on the Sidu, forcing that adaptation. Casca getting swapped to in the meantime. Trill trying to put out some pressure, but he falls back, keeping the damage up on Cyfoxy and Dilly. This is the only weakness that I can see in Method Orange's comp is Sidu's mana, and suddenly it's starting to get tapped quite rapidly. It was very high at the start of the game, but as it gets lower and lower, he won't be able to reapply that Spear Link to his team, and as soon as it falls down, a big ferocious bite could just claim a kill so they may need to try and look to end this as soon as possible the late game isn't looking in their favor yeah dilly taking some pressure right now still has the aspect of the triple diamond ice over onto Sidu. they managed to find the cc but no damage on the sam i am a trill in the meantime though dilly take quite a bit of burst might have to activate that aspect of the turtle he's trying to kite away trying to play greedy casca trying to keep him alive 
Uh, I guess fully Cyclone, though. Dilly's all by himself. Finally activates that defensive. You can see that turtle shell around him. He's going to be immune to damage. Casca gets out of the crowd control, trying to find the healing. Sam Lamb seems to be the pressure point for Method Orange. Gets silenced up. No bark skin available. Still has the renewal, though. But I feel like Casca's Angels is running out of time. Yeah, I mean, at this point, with everyone down to 50%, Dampening starting to ramp up the 15% healing reduction. I'm not sure if Casca can really keep up with the heat that Trill is dishing out. Triple stun from Trill, really leading the charge. Dilly doesn't have much. He's trying to run away, but Trill's in hot pursuit. Cyfoxy is also just rotting down. Sidu pops Ascendance. That's going to bounce his entire team back to full HP very shortly, and they have all of the momentum. Casca has to buy time for another 34 seconds. If he can make it to that point, he will have the recovery mechanics to survive through this onslaught, but he needs Needs to make it that far. 28 more seconds, and Method Orange are just tearing in. There's the double stun. Sam Foxy getting low. Casca does have Trinket and Spirit Link available to keep his team alive at any moment. Nice double stun going out on the Sam Miami Trill with the trap on the Sea-Doo. They get pressure down quite a bit. Hex now over on the Sea-Doo gets immediately dispelled. Nicely done by Sam Miam. Silence coming in a little bit too late by Dilly Poo. Sam Miam was able to dispel that. Dilly in the meantime taking quite a bit of damage. Incarnation used by Sai Foxy trying to get pressure on all three members of Method Orange at 20% dampening. Sea falling a little bit behind. So is Casca, though. How are these healers going to respond? There's the ascendance that Casca was waiting for. Now with that activated, his heals are going to be huge, but he gets caught in a stun. Has to Trinket Link. Nice stun from Trill, trying to slow down the healing. Casca's finally getting some healing surges. He needs more, but he gets cloned. This is a great shutdown by Method Orange. Now Cyfoxy is in trouble. Tank Trinket has proc. Sam, I am also at the same time, and this is looking to be like one of those games that could result in a cross kill. Sidu is on the ropes. He's got no mana left, and he's going to be sweating for the rest of this game. Yeah, it's going to be di very difficult for him to keep his team alive. Stun now over on the trail. No trinket available. Doesn't have the darkness either. Just trying to keep him up with the eye beam, with the demonic, with the self healing. Just needs to keep the pressure up. Stay on target. Do as much damage as possible to really help Sidu out in these final moments. Dilly Poo rotting down low though. Sam I am able to get out a lot of bursts. He oh, has 47 in. seconds. Dilly Poo all by himself behind the pillar. Gets caught to the stun and taken down. Nicely done by Trill. Realizing the situation. Dilly just overextended a little bit. Got out of line of Casca and taken down. And ultimately, the circle of life can be so cruel. We're going to see <laughs> Dilly cut and could have been a very good option here, but it's all going to come down to this map. Can Casca's Angels extend this series or his method going to run away with it? Yeah, Casca really needs your love. He has not been able to win a game yet this year in PvP tournaments. Not even one game. He needs it. He's the underdog. He's trying his best to carry his team. Normally, they've got Milkman and Pr on Priest to do all of the heavy lifting, and Casca can kind of just chill, but it's really up to him to try and get a win here. Can he keep the game going long enough to run Sidu out of mana on that clock, or is he going to choke and fall to the pressure? There's still moments in this game where either team can find victory. It might not all come down to mana, but that's definitely a win condition for Casca's Angels. If they can drag it on that long, Joe making a big swap now over on to Casca. Caught into the fell eruption, gets taken down to 30%. Tank Trinket going to be procking. He gets behind the pillar, tops himself off basically instantly. Sam I am taking a little pressure now from Dilly and Cy Foxy. Seems like I said in these last couple games, Sam I am really has been that pressure point. But Seed has been able to keep him alive uh, with the Spirit Link, you know, relatively safe. Now a lot of damage out on Cy Foxy and Dilly as well. Trill just all over the place on this Demon Hunter. Yeah, I mean, he's got perfect targeting, perfect damage rotation. Everything is maximized on Trill. Aside from using his defensive cooldowns in situations where it may not 100% be necessary, his, his play has been immaculate. Dilly under fire, dipping below half. Casca doing his best to pick him back up, but getting winchered on that heal, rocking the absorb. Nice wind from c -Doo. Yep, Trill getting caught into the stun. He leaps away. Another swap over on Akaska. I beam used. He's in the demon form. A lot of pressure on Akaska now. He gets out of line of sight. He's able to heal himself up with the Riptide healing wave very, very quickly. In the meantime, though, Samurai has been rotting down Dilly, rotting down Cy Foxy. Root beam on Akaska. He gets out of the. He actually uses the stone form. So he gets out of that root beam with the stone form. Dilly was caught in his stun, so couldn't really get that master's call. Nicely done. Good reactions by Casca. Keep his team alive. I mean, the pressure right now for Casca's Angels is a lot higher than we've seen in any other game. With two members already at 30%. See, you're trying to respond. Will he get enough healing out in time here? It seems to be the case. He's holding on to dear life because whatever happened, Dilly and Cy Foxy have stepped it up. Their damage is much higher. Cy Foxy now finally being counter pressured on this push. Casca caught in a stun. Potentially more crowd control, but getting silenced by Dilly. Good silence there breaking up the CC. Trill's trying to follow up with an imprison, but I don't think that imprison is going to be long enough to net them a kill. Casca's going to bounce back, but with Ascendance burned on both sides, that's a big healing cooldown that neither Shaman can really fall back on. 
I really think Runes of Lordaeron backfired on Casca's angles, realizing it. This map is a lot better. Casca can easily get out of line of sight. Anytime Trill goes on him, he just dips behind the pillar, tops himself off. Trill has to get off him. That way, Casca is really not a target for Method Orange, unless they basically hunt his hero and stun lock. So I think this map is working out a lot better than Runes of Lordaeron, where Casca doesn't really have as many places to run away. And we see Method Orange, they're pinned down in the room, but I feel like Casca's angels actually want a long game. That's their only win condition, really, is to run Sea out of mana. But in the meantime, good crowd control from Method Orange is putting Casca's Angels on the back foot with two members down to half health. Casca has a lot of work to recover. Doesn't have that Ascendance to bounce back with. He's still getting crowd controlled. Cybox is trying to help out with some of the pressure. Now they're switching their attention to Casca, swapping all over the place. And Casca is doing a good job despite all of this insane damage from Trill. Yeah, Healing Wave's coming in. Interrupt over on Sea-Doo. Sam I Am still rotting down lower. Has the Bark Skin. There's the Bash on Sea-Doo. Sam I Am has to survive. This could be the Dark. This could be the Renewal. Talking not to use it. Sea-Doo keeping him alive with the Spear Links and Rift Eyes connecting as well. They still have some defensives to fall back on, but that's as good pressure coming in from Casca. Same oh, in this game. Trill getting bursted down suddenly out of nowhere. Sea-Doo trying to pick him back up very rapidly. Sea-Doo's already spent half his mana on Casca's Angels. That's their win condition. They just need to stay in this fight a little bit longer and not get caught off guard. So let's think about the tre the threats here from Method Orange. Sam I Am has Incarnation. That's a big boost of damage. Casca needs to use Healing Tide Totem to counteract that, which he has available. But if he's silenced, he can't. So he's going to use Stone Form, get out of the silence, and get ready because here's the Incarnation. Star Surges are flying. Trill's moving in for a kill on Cyfoxy. He's going to deflect with Survival Instincts that reduces damage on himself and allows him to stay aggressive, forcing Sam I Am dangerously low. So you're trying to pick him up as both Shamans are mirroring their cooldowns. Both Healing Tides used at the exact same second. Mana starting to even out though, and Casca's Angels are losing that advantage. Yep, the setup method Orange has been going for has been the double Chaos Nova into the root beam. Dilly trinketed out of the last one with the Master's Call. Sam I am getting low. Still has the Bark Skin, but uh, and finally going to be using that to reduce some of this incoming damage. That was a close call there. Dilly Poo doesn't want to overextend in this room for too long. Method Orange is trying to drag Dilly Poo and Sir Foxy out of line of sight, really reducing that line of sight advantage that Casca had when they were playing center field. All right, Dilly trying to revive Pet as it ultimately did go down to some of the cleave damage. Cyfox is just off healing, knowing that mana is the name of the game. He wants to output a little bit of healing to at least save the mana of Casca as long as possible. Trill, though, now has a huge threat with Metamorphosis Pop, double stun, silence, wombo combo from Method Orange. Good backup from Dilly getting Casca out of that crowd control, but he's still quite far behind. He's got a lot of damage to deal with, and he's in crowd control. He can't get heals going. Cyfoxy in trouble. Lower and lower. Will he be able to stay alive? It looks like it will be the case as Casca trades out his trinkets. Although getting cloned, great crowd control from Method Orange. They're looking to close. This is match point. Cybox in a lot of trouble. Drill is closing in. There's so much damage. Cedar looks for a hex. He catches it. But Casca got the Spirit Link totem off a second before it landed. And he is just so happy right now. Smiley face for that Ascendance that just became available. Because that's going to bounce his entire team back to full. Yeah, but he used basically everything to keep his team alive. Cedar falling behind, though. Mana not looking so good for Method Orange. Sam I am rotting down as well. Good pressure from Casca's Angels. But like I said, exchange casket basically used everything they had to keep his team alive no trinket no link no nothing really for them Method Orange actually stabilizes here. A lot of damage coming in from Dilly and Cyfox. You can see them doing a good job healing through it. Now swap over on the Trill. Heat Trinkets out. Wants to avoid some of this damage with the Blade Dances. The Eye Beam eventually going to be using that to get into Metamorphosis to increase the healing that he's going to be doing. Doesn't have the Demon Form available for quite some time, so that's a lot of burst potential lost. Imprisonment on Akaska. Cyfoxy Survival Instinct is going to be used. There's a Hex on Akaska. There's going to be no dispel available. Cyfoxy gets taken down. Method Orange with Immaculate CC there at the end, and is going to win the series 3-0. They were so close. Look at CD's mana. They were so close. And ultimately, that's going to be another feed versus the fake Zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered, in the middle of history, the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth. 